Hey everyone, John at Freshwater Systems. In our ongoing series of answering frequently asked questions, today we're going to talk about booster pumps. What is a booster pump? A booster pump is just like it sounds. It is a pump that boosts pressure and flow. Could be for a household, could be for moving water from a tank, or it could be for a commercial application. How does a booster pump work? A booster pump works just like a fan. It has blades that spin around and it boosts the air movement. That's what a booster pump does. It has a, a blade like a fan inside and it's boosting water pressure in the same fashion. What are the components of a booster pump? The booster pump has very significant components and no matter what the manufacturer is, they're pretty much the same. They have a motor which makes the impellers spin. The impeller is what moves the water. They have an inlet and an outlet. And this particular pump has a sensing device that helps manage and maintain a level of pressure. How are booster pumps used? Booster pumps are used in a variety of applications. We go back to the root word of the, the product booster. When we are in a household that doesn't get enough pressure from the city supply, for example, a booster pump would be a great application to increase pressure and flow through the entire house. Uh, another application might be to repressurize water from a tank. If you collect water into a tank, like a rain harvesting system, in order to use it, you've got to pump it out of the tank and into the house, whether you're flushing toilets or using it for uh, uh, laundry, for example, you would use a booster pump to move that water. An example of a booster pump in installation or application would be in a household where you want to improve pressure, you want to improve flow rates. In this particular instance, we've got a booster pump in the basement that is right on the line as it enters the house, and then the outlet of the booster pump improves pressure to the kitchen, to the bathrooms, and the showers. Um, this is one of many, many types of installations. How do you install a booster pump? A booster pump installs uh, where you're going to need to move water from, for example, in a household with low pressure. You're going to install this on the main line as it comes into the house. Uh, you plug the inlet in and then the outlet goes to the, back to the plumbing supply. And you always want to have a bypass just in case something happens or the pump doesn't work right that you can bypass the pump and still get water into the house. That's very important. And the other thing that you want to make sure you do is have a way that you can test the pump without having to run water through the house. Sometimes a leak can occur and the pump will cycle because you have very little flow rate. and It'll turn on and run for a second and it'll turn back off. They're typically activated by flow rate or they're activated by pressure or both. And if you've got a leak, it's important to be able to isolate the pump to test it to make sure the pump's not the problem and then you can solve the leak problem. But quite simply to review, you plug in the inlet and the outlet goes to back to the household line and don't forget to put a bypass in in case you have to, ever have to go around the pump. Another thing to think about in installation is these pumps, when they run, they vibrate. And if you hard plumb them into, let's say you've got copper plumbing in the house, and you hard plumb the pump to that, when this thing vibrates, it's very possible that that vibration will carry into the plumbing, and then your whole plumbing system is making noise through that vibration. So it's a good idea to always use a flex connector uh, for the inlet and the outlet so that the pump vibration doesn't carry into your plumbing system. How do you size to make sure that the booster pump is correct for your application? A booster pump that's right for your application, you, you have to figure out what you're looking for. Do you have a two-story, four-bathroom uh, house? Um, are you moving water a significant distance? Is the water you're drawing from quite a few feet away? Or are you going down into a well supply, for example? All of those items are going to play into which booster pump is best for you. Some pumps are, uh, have a single impeller 
it's not going to be very good at drawing water. So that's not what you would use for drawing water from a distance. Let's say you had an intake out in the pond and you're using this pump as an irrigation pump. Um, if you're pumping water up a long way, you got to have something with a little beef or some horsepower to move the water. Water weighs eight pounds per gallon. And if you've got a one inch pipe that goes up quite a few feet, that can turn into a significant amount of weight that the pump has to push. So all of those elements play into which pump is right for that application. Under what circumstances would a person need a booster pump? A person's gonna need a booster pump when they need boosted water pressure or they need uh, a higher flow rate. And it could be a variety of applications. Uh, pressurizing a household that's low on pressure, uh, bringing water out of a storage tank, or pumping water from a lake or a pond, or maybe even an industrial application where an, uh, an appliance or some type of apparatus needs a lot of water at a higher pressure, a booster pump can, can work in all of those applications. Will a booster pump enhance pressure and or flow rate? A booster pump is boosting pressure and in many cases improving the flow rate. As it's running, it's, it's fan blade is pushing water at a faster rate at a higher pressure. Now there's a pump curve to keep in mind that as the pressure goes up, typically the flow rate comes down. Think about a garden hose that you put your thumb over. All of a sudden the water's coming out at a very high pressure, but our flow rate is restricted because of our thumb. So a booster pump works in that same fashion. It can provide a lot of water at a lot of flow rate at a very low pressure. So if I was just pumping water out of the pump without any kind of restriction, just open out to the front yard, it's gonna provide us with a lot of flow rate. But if I start putting this into the plumbing of the house and I've got elbows and we're going uphill and we're running through a kitchen faucet, for example, then the flow rate's gonna be a lot slower and I'm going to have higher pressure. 